All right, let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to uh, open up a notepad again. Um, this time we're going to just start uh, barking out commands for it, which uh, first one is going to be start and then C drive users Michael Ura desktop hello dot text. Um, that is going to tell it to execute this uh, icon right here, which you know brings up hello world for batch. And then uh, we're going to hit pause after that so that it doesn't roll away. Um, I'm going to tell it to clear screen and just to have fun I'm going to tell it to change it to color 9. You'll see what all that does whenever we get it launched up. You are just basically entering DOS commands right here uh, given there are some differences but not by much. Um, I'm then going to tell it to pause again so that it doesn't quite leave and uh, let's go ahead and get this bad boy saved. You're going to go to file, save as and this is going to be saved as all files. It's very important that you click on that. When you're under here, we're going to name this hello.bat, which stands for hello.batch. And click Save. Uh, then it created the batch file here when we launch it. It's going to go ahead and bring up this hello world for batch. As you can tell, I didn't click on the icon. I clicked on the actual bat. You can go ahead and exit that out. It's asking me to press a button to continue. When I done that, it uh, entered the uh, clear screen command and then it changed the color to 9, which changes your text to blue. When I hit this again, uh, it go ahead and leaves because that was the last thing that I had in the code here was a pause. And uh, that is how you use batch to execute small other tasks. Uh, in this next video, I'm going to show you how to execute this batch file.